Hello Flight Simmers and Location Manager Pro users. Welcome to this video explainer for Location Manager Pro and uh, version 1.0.3 and uh, an in-depth overview of uh, our new feature called Start Anywhere. Um, location Manager Pro allows you to save locations to quickly find your favorite places and start a flight in uh, multiple ways just like you can normally but with some extra um, features which make it uh, much more useful. Uh, what does that mean? Let's let's break it down. Um, to start off with, let's just look at, uh, just do a quick recap of how we currently manage locations and some of the issues. Uh, we all start at this interface here which is the main map of, of Flight Simulator. Um, now you can either, a lot of people start by uh, loading a flight plan um, but a lot of people like me I, I tend to use flight plans a little bit probably only maybe 20% of the time most of the time I just pick places and fly on the map and there's multiple ways you can do that you can um, let's start with a small airport here we've got a, our Zlin Aviation Shock Ultra loaded and the floats because we're going to be doing some land and some water um, starts um, so the the most direct way uh, you just click on the, the airport itself and if you set us departure it'll auto assign uh, a runway uh, if there's two it'll do one or multiple runways it'll choose one of them in this case there's only one so it's chosen that uh, and that'll hot start on the runway with the engine running ready to go uh, you can do a cold and dark by selecting a ramp and a parking space and you'll load in with the engine off ready to do a cold and dark um, the other ways are you can uh, start in the air if you just want to click anywhere on what's called a uh, on one of the existing waypoints you can just click on that and set its departure depending on the height uh, the altitude of the the ground uh, it will give you a normally it starts anywhere depending on the aircraft it'll start 1500 feet above the ground or 5,000 feet if it's a jet or even higher if it's a higher performance aircraft sometimes um, so you'll see that airborne up here and that's the height you're going to start at um, or and the same here if we choose a town so we set that as departure it'll it's slightly lower because it's down in the valley um, the other way apart from choosing a point of interest or a, an existing uh, city or town is you could just click anywhere on the map and that'll set a custom waypoint now all custom waypoints um, they automatically have their altitude set at uh, you'll see in here it's 500 meters which is 1640 feet uh, but if you set a departure it'll you'll see here it comes in at 1500 feet but that'll actually stick you up in the air at 1500 feet above the ground um, so that's a number of ways that you can select locations but you can't one of the, the problems is you, you can't, uh, we have a, a search, you can search for locations in here and points of interest. Um, so we want to search for Zermatt. There's Zermatt, the point of interest, which we just saw there. It'll zoom in. Um, you can put in uh, latitude and longitude in here and it'll pull up. You, you put in the details here and it'll pull it up directly. Or we've got uh, a bit of a history and recommended spots, but there's no way to favorite um, locations. There's no way to save them uh, or create your own list or tag them, similar to the aircraft issues that we solve with Aircraft Manager. So what uh, I've added here with Location Manager is um, you've got the ability to, whenever you click on any of these things that we just clicked on, what is now added to the information box here is a save location and we have a little count here I'm using the pro version which lets you save up to 200 for performance reasons at the moment which might increase in the future but you just click that and it'll save this location and then you can click on this and it'll pull it up so for example let's save the airport here save that location it's now gone up to 45 then if we go and click this uh, it's not sorted so it should that one we just added should be at the bottom here which is we just click on the type and it'll highlight that row 
It's chamois, that's an airport, that it at an airport at the latitude and longitude and the height that it's at. So it's, it's saved it at the correct height. Um, so we can then add tags into this. I use this for stall. We'll call this a mountain airport. You just click, click in the, uh, in the column there, click out to save as it says in the, um, roll over, hover over, uh, help, uh, tool tip. Um, same here in notes, we can add more detailed notes. Uh, so I can say something like, this is a great mountain strip uh, close to the Matterhorn, uh, which is just at the top of the valley that we're in. Um, and you can see I've saved a whole bunch of others here. Um, we can sort by country. The, the country code is automatically added, which isn't in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So this is added by Location Manager. The type is added. That's from uh, Flight Simulator. The name is added. Uh, this is if it's an airport, you get an airport designation. If it's a custom waypoint, um, it won't have anything the same as a point of interest here. Um, but it gives us the latitude and longitude for later and the altitude. And as we saw here, with custom waypoints, the height is always fixed at 500. I actually have a, a help request in with the Dell form at the moment asking about to clarify this and if we can get that switch to the actual ground altitude, which would be handy. So I've added a whole bunch in here. And what we can do is when you go into any of these now, once you've saved them, uh, you can quickly go to them just by clicking that and we go back out. But it's designed as a generalized location manager for storage and retrieval of a location. So you can pull up a location and then you can decide whether you want to do a hot start, a cold start, whether you want to start in the air close to around here, uh, close to it, or do we want to start, let it choose a runway for me, or I can choose a runway directory, or I want to do a cold start. Um, okay, so it's generalized location, so it can pull it up. So what, it, again, let's just look at another, let's go to Zell MC. Okay, so it automatically, due to the nature of the map, uh, when you zoom back in, it'll always be a custom waypoint. So to get rid of that, and because that's at the exact longitude and latitude of this airport that we stored there, you just click on the map and it'll get rid of the custom one, then you're at the location that you want. So then you can start your activity however you want to do it. So let me just explain a little bit more about um, selecting of precise uh, lat long um, locations for when you want to do a uh, precise uh, cold start. As I explained, uh, we're looking at a, an airport here, uh, Valdez Airport. Um, okay, so when we, uh, I've already got some locations safe for this. So this is the base sim, so we haven't actually clicked on anything. So I'll show you what I mean. If I go through to, this is Valdez, this is the, this is when it's been saved. You know it's been saved from an airport when it shows airport and it's got the ICAO there. Um, and if we just go to that, the precise lat long is overlaid right on top of the airport location. And that's where you're gonna land if you do a teleport into there from fly mode. You're gonna land on top of this building because that's where the lat long is taken and that's where the locations are. Um, I selected some ramps here. This is Valdez um, ramp area. And this is selecting one of the ramps. But I actually, this was a custom waypoint just off to the side because if we select a ramp and then save that, what it will actually do, uh, I can't get around this, it'll save it as an airport location. So if we go there, We'll now see that it's added it as another airport location, which is exactly the same. So that if we then go to that, it'll come back in uh, right on top of the building, which is not where we want to be, even though we selected that ramp start. So if you want to do a custom ramp start, what you do is, say I want to start here. Um, 
then select the custom waypoint and save that and then that will then that's the new one then you can put some notes in uh, and then when we go to that you'll see bingo it's at the right point so when you teleport to that from fly mode that's where you're gonna go um, and we can also be in the bay you can set one in the bay I've got one I think here already I set a water one up teleport this near Valdez this one here we'll do a water start anywhere we want right in the water and then you can obviously you can sort by country uh, you can sort by altitude um, if you want to look for low altitude locations or maybe you want to go the other way and you want to do high altitude um, flying uh, you can tag them by stole or by country or whatever you want to do um, you can see here I've got our number ones tag by water which we're going to use soon when we do a demo uh, sort by the type, are they a custom waypoint or are they uh, an airport, sort by the airport um, or the name. And you can favorite them as well. Um, for example, uh, uh, reset the sort. Uh, say I really like uh, ZLMC, I've favorited three here just like in the aircraft manager. And to show your favorites, just filter them that, you can do a quick filter. Uh, just clicking on the name and that'll filter only out the favorites and then uh, Mount Cook, Melange and uh, ZLMC are my current favorites um, and you just click on that to show them all again uh, that's basically how it works but it comes into its real power um, when we go into the map mode because we have a few more features there uh, which we can show so let's just do a cold cold start here uh, and go into the map you can also teleport to any of the locations in the air on the ground or on the water so conceivably you can do cold starts anywhere in world now from a safe location um, however you manage to save that location so here we are in world at Zalam C uh, let's go into external view and it's pulled up the location manager here uh, how you get to that is basically is just from the the toolbar uh, it's location manager there It'll pull up um, so now we have uh, here we have all the um, locations that you just saw before so let's sort them by country so we know where we are and we're here at ZLMC um, and we're sitting in our cold and dark spot so What's been added to uh, the original version of Location Manager is just had this air start where you could um, go to the location and it would start you at a thousand feet uh, above that location. But in this version, uh, and it was pretty brutal, teleporting can be a pretty intensive process, but um, I've added ground starts to this, so why don't we go and have a look at that. So let's go and look at, uh, let's stay in Europe and let's go to Nicholsdorf and let's do a cold start on the ground um, so what happens when I click this it takes about 30 seconds to teleport and we have a staged process that gives you ongoing information so you just wait and watch the process finish uh, it'll go into active pause mode automatically um, while it does it so that the uh, plane does go all over the place um, yeah, so, so let's just uh, fire it off here so let's just click that and we'll see here, starting to teleport, please wait. Uh, step number one or four, we're going to count down from four to one. Um, it's gradually working its way through. Uh, second to last step. And we're there at. Uh, Nicholsdorf on our on our uh, float plane. So that was uh, and what happens now is once you've loaded in, you can if you don't like the heading, you can just turn the plane around like that using this little slider here as a quick adjust. So this goes this will go to the location that you saved here. So it's going to this precise latitude and longitude. So when you're on the main map. 
uh, whatever you that it's best to zoom in to be more accurate on the map so that you're very precise when you select your location so that you can either do a general location or if you want to go to that position in here through the teleport um, then it will go to that exact spot and then you can just uh, zoom around now um, be noted that the when you select an airport icon and save it from that or a, or a ramp or a runway icon they're all saved with the airport's location um, so if you want to be more precise then just do a custom waypoint just off to the side if you want to start in your own spot um, let's try a water start uh, let's pull up some water and actually let's do uh, sort by country first and then we'll sort by tags so it's a two stage sort so we're sorting by country and then sorting by these so do we have uh, let's go to Canada uh, okay Canada we have a uh, custom map okay this is uh, near Bedwell Harbour let's go to the Bedwell Harbour seaplane base which is an airport you can see it's got an iCar Please wait, initializing, four, three, now it will, um, don't worry about how it looks there, that's just the teleport process, it will come normal as we get down to the final step and once it turns off uh, active pause, here we go, get ready, injecting, bingo, and we're ready to go on the water. Um, that's in Bedwell Harbour. Uh, let's switch to land just near here. Again, where actually it looks a bit funky. Uh, this is the acid trip of teleporting. Um, this is the most reliable method I've found that will get us back on the ground at the right location. Uh, just wait for the process to finish. About 30 seconds. Get ready, here we go. Three, two, bingo. And if you want to change direction again to start off with, you can just turn it around, adjust the dip. This is a 360 degree emulation of a circle. And then just uh, hit your reset to where you want to go. Um, same again, so we want to go to, uh, let's look at some POIs, okay, uh, Africa, do we have Africa? Uh, elephants, let's go look at some moving elephants. Uh, same again, just wait for the process to finish. Um, don't leave your mouse on here when you've clicked pull it out there because there are some cases I've found where the uh, the mouse will re-trigger when it gets to the end of the step if this has gone on your mouse is on there it'll trigger another teleport um, here we go three two one and we'll see some moving elements there we go there's the point of interest of the moving elephants all over the place and let's uh, Trigger that in the air. So the other one of doing it is the air one, which will start us at a thousand feet in the air. Now this will load the ground much faster because we're in the actual location, so it doesn't have to stream in all the land and the textures. But we still got to go through that same process of waiting. Um, and in the air, obviously, you can adjust your throttle, and get it to the right. But you'll start at 90 knots at a thousand feet above ground, ground level. Three, two, one, ready to go. And off you go. And there's the elephant down there. So what happens if you're in the air and you want to do a cold start, let's get a Mount Cook, uh, it'll immediately turn your engine off because you're starting cold. And if you're going to start on the ground, then currently there's no hot starting, it's just all start anywhere, but you'll start cold. Um, we're in the bitstream here, it's decoupling, um, going into the space-time quantum continuum, doing the teleport uh, process. 
Aligning, injecting, three, two, one, and here we go into map. Oh. And we're on the land. And then you can just go into the plane and uh, control E, or if you're on a, an actual. Uh, Gears down I do recommend, um, let me just turn that off. Uh, I do recommend when you're going to teleport that in your assistance options, you have failure and damage disabled, aircraft crash damage off, uh, aircraft damage off. Uh, they should always be off because it's there's no real damage in the sim. It's pretty terrible, it just disrupts the flight. You might want the engine uh, damage on uh, because that's useful for some of the aircraft which are doing uh, uh, long-term uh, maintenance modeling uh, such as Milvis and, and some of the other aircraft developers icing effect on but you can also turn those off as well but now it's got active pause it shouldn't be a problem um, looking at uh, POI let's just do another couple of uh, little tests here. Uh, let's go and look at some seagulls in Croatia. Um, go back out. Initializing. Doing it. Uh, it's, we took that POI seemed to be over a boat but the plane will be just off the boat. Coming down to final step in a moment. Here we go. Get ready. Injecting. Fuel up for water landing. And we get the annoying Anuncio, which we can just actually say the annoying that. And you can start from there. So that's pretty much it. Um, you've got, uh, it gives you our, oh, the other one is a. If you want to save a location anywhere, um, anywhere you are, you can just click that and it'll save the location of the aircraft exactly where we are with the geographical height. So we've just, actually that should show us in Croatia because that's where we are. So it's already sorted. Yeah, we just added this one here. It's this one because I already filled this one in with some tags. So that one here. So if we oh, let's go to Chamois, which was the um, airport that we showed at the start. Uh, and because that was saved at the airport, we might end up here on top of a building if that's with the lat long. And that's what I was saying before about you might want to do a custom waypoint just slightly off where the airport marker is, uh, where you exactly want the aircraft to be positioned when you you do a teleport in there. Um, let's see where this one ends up. Oh, halfway down the runway, <laughs> which is probably not where we want to be. Uh, we want to be up here further. So that probably wasn't a good choice, but that's a good demonstration of being able to more accurately So, but then again, you might want to, the airport markers might not be so good for um, doing a teleport. You might want to add one for the airport, but the airport markers are great for when you're on the map mode, for when you want to go to that there and do a start at either the hot start on the runway. So there's a number of strategies, however you want to work it. So just play around with it, um, see which way, which ones work for you and how you want to do it. Um, these just reset the grid. It'll reset the uh, the sort and the filtering, um, and resize it to screen size, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the new improved. Um, so we should actually go to water. Let's let's, uh, let's do one more in the water. Uh, a water start. It's a nice water start. Oh, a nice. Uh, mountain lake. And the 
initializing decoupling and you can see here it's pretty funky this is actually how the construction of the sim um, zooming through the quantum space <laughs> get ready three two one and we're in a lovely little uh, mountain lake which is map this little lake here and we can do a nice takeoff and then if we want to we don't like that direction we can just let's take off that way okay so that's uh, pretty much it uh, have fun play around with it um, enjoy start anywhere location manager pro stay tuned for more inversions in the future. Happy flying!